14.6 is live. Uh, let's see. Lol patch notes. So what did they do? What did they do to Smolder? Let's see. Nerfs to Smolder and Senna. Oh, Riot, thank you. You've done it, Riot. Uh, changes to Doran's items? Doran's items for support slash jungle? Oh, they're making it exclusive, aren't they? Changes to what? In epic items and Infinity Edge. I mean, these items are way too OP. Lord Doms and Mordor Miner is being changed. Support income is being changed. We're doing it. Have you guys seen the video where Yankos finds out the champ designer of Smolder is the same as Cassante? No, let me see that one. Let me see that one. I would love to see it. Smolder designer is laid off. I mean, I... They have one job, guys. They have one job. To design... It's, it's actually an important parenthesis at the end. A champion designer is supposed to design a good champion for the game that's fun and healthy for the game. Let's... Like, the, the last part might be overlooked. It's like, make it fun. Okay, Smolder's pretty fun, right? But he's not healthy for the game. So, like, they, they, they missed out on half the job description. <laughs> um, Senna support is 46% win rate. I mean, deserved. Deserved. Senna, Senna support should not be a high win rate ADC, or high win rate support. Senna is what you pick, and when you don't know how to play support, but you get, get filled. It's like, it's like me. Like, fuck, man, I really don't want to play Nautilus. I think I'm going to run it down, so I'll play Senna because I'm good at ADC. Like, champs like that inherently should have a terrible win rate um, and, and well below 50%. So, like, Pike, Senna, those kind of champs should have well below 50% win rate because it's the stuff you pick when you don't want to play that role. Like, imagine if there was just, like, a tank ADC. Right? Like, just imagine if, like, they designed an ADC, not like Nyla, where she's, like, an assassin, but, like, a melee tank ADC, and it's, like, a top laner gets filled ADC, and they can just play a full tank in that role, and it's a and it's a decent pick. Do you think that that, sh that pick should be 50% win rate? No. Of course not. That's not how, that's not good design. That pick should be 45% win rate. The same way that Yumi should be 45% win rate. Like, you don't design the game so that every champ is just a 50-50 fucking flip on winning. Isn't that Gnar? No, Gnar's not a tank. I'm talking like, I'm talking like if you want to play like fucking full tank Cho'Gath ADC, should that have a 50% win rate? No, I don't think so. That's my opinion. And I don't think that people should assume that like every champion is balanced at a 50% win rate because that, 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 that would actually be terrible for the game. Um, missed spawn rate on minion kill. We think Senna is an appropriately wait, wait, hold on. While we think Senna is appropriately powerful as a support in the hands of most players, she is currently far too strong as a farming bot laner. While we targeted both her primary roles last patch, we're specifically reducing the power of her bot lane carry performance this time. What? Did they nerf Senna? Bro, they didn't even nerf Senna support. What the fuck? What? No, because like competitive is so plagued by Senna and P Senna with like fucking Tom Kench or Senna Nautilus and they didn't nerf it at all. What? What? Okay, let's see what they did to Smolder. Let's see what they did to Smolder. No, I don't think there should be a role where Senna at 50% rate, the same way that a 0 at 50% rate just means the champ is way too OP. Um, Smolder Q execute threshold decreased, conditions adjusted, W width decreased, E movement speed decreased. Um, okay, Smolder is just a little guy, but this little guy's dream of scaling with his stacks can feel like an inevitable nightmare for his opponents. Agreed. While we don't believe he'll be problematic in the long term, there are a few frustrating or overpowered parts of his kit right now that we're looking to address this patch. First, his execute scaling based on stacks has been too powerful, so we're capping it at 6.5%. Based. So based. Holy shit, thank you. What have I been saying since the very beginning, guys? I've been saying that Smolder's stacks should be capped like Syndra, where like, you still stack, so you still have that fantasy like, oh, I'm at max stacks, but it should never, ever be unlimited. That is such a stupid idea. 
thank you for like just being reasonable about like oh infinite scaling like this shit is fucking brain dead straight up like i think senna the same way that smolder is like this senna should have a cap on her stacks kindred should have a cap on her stacks this whole thing about like infinite scaling is just like so cringe and like outdated mentality about the game it is not fun to play against infinite scalers and it's not even really fun to play with the infinite scaler because like their game plan is just like i'm gonna play as greedy and as you know as like fucking stupidly as possible to get stacks that's the entire game plan when you play with that champ i'm sure you guys know about this when you play with like a nasus who just like won't group because it's like oh i'm stacking i'm stacking i mean it still stacks but the 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 execute being capped is like one step in the right direction second the safety from his e and mismatched hitbox with w visuals can be frustrating to go up against and help him scale more easily so we're nerfing them both with the goal of making his early game weaknesses more noticeable for players that find themselves matched up against him um no his early game is not his early, i don't i don't i think they shouldn't touch his early game his early game is, sh is shit and it will always be shit it's this late game that needs to be nerfed. I think this is good. So basically when he gets 225 stacks, he had 7.6% execute. Now it's capped at 6.5 and never budges. So you will never see an execute as strong as the shittiest execute possible from last patch. Not executing off of ally damage is huge as well. Smolder only checks to execute units after Smolder's damage, meaning it will no longer execute off of ally's damage. Huge. Huge change. Good job, Riot. Good job. W got nerfed a bit. E got nerfed a bit. Um, uh, he'll still be OP, but good job. He'll still be good. He'll still be good. I don't think he'll be OP, actually. I, I, let me retract that statement. His wave clear is still going to be insane. His scaling is still going to be insane, but I think he'll be a little bit less fucking disgusting. His win rate went down 8%. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, Holy Bear got changed. Let me see the item changes. Navori got buffed. Ai got buffed. Crit Marksmen are feeling sad. Ooh, wait, guys. This is a big buff. This is a big buff to to the two champs that I've been playing a lot. Because I, lately I've been playing Kaisa and Zaya a decent amount. And this is actually a, quite a big buff. So, you know, IE and Navori Quick Blades is like pretty core on Jinx. Jinx got buffed. Uh obviously I play Smolder because I, I want to win games, but um, you know, Kaisa and Zaya, they got buffed off of this. This is a this is a decent change. Right? You know, you can't you can't laugh at like 10, 10 crit damage this is pretty big 5 ad for free five fucking pen that's that's pretty big and jinx got buffed twice because jinx always goes ie and lord doms early dorans for supports and jungles in this patch we're updating the rules around dorans ring blade shield world atlas yeah okay so owning one starter item precludes you from buying the others classic ride games they buff the shit out of something and they don't expect it to be abused by roles that it's not intended for. Classic Riot Games. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yo, we made Dorans really overpowered. Wait, what the what the fuck? Why are junglers in support starting Dorans? No. Rage face. Such a classic Riot Games move right there. They're like, wait a sec. Uh hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's slow down a bit. We got to fucking put some new rules in this game. Supports have gained a lot of power specifically for their ability to hit two item spikes very quickly. Totally agree. I think that supports should not even be remotely close to carry rolls on their item spikes, but they are. And that's how you end up with just these games where I'm playing, uh, you know, I'm playing like Blitzcrank and I have two completed items and... I almost have my third completed item. This is like a, what is this? A 30 minute game. I have 29 farm and I'm three items. My teammates are like two and a half items. But like my three items, my two items, I'm not counting this one. This one counts as essentially a full item too, or at least half. And then I have like these games, you know, let's just, let's just go down. Let's look at this Senna game that I have. I have one and what is that? What is this? One and a half items plus blood song. So two items essentially. 
And my carry rolls have two items as well. Good job, Riot. I like this. Um, I like this a lot. Golden card for upgrade. Okay, so they just re they just reduced the income, but they didn't they didn't fuck up the the, the cap on the income is also eight hundred. So they get like supports just get minus two hundred gold. Let me just make sure I understand this correctly. When it when it upgrades up to its final point, which is at now at eight hundred gold, you can no longer get gold. So you get minus two hundred gold on support. Decent nerf. Respect. Good change. Don't think it's gonna make a huge difference, but it'll make a, a decent one. Oh, taking a pass on epic items. Oof. Damn, that's a big nerf. Wow. Wow. What the fuck? These are some huge nerfs. Jesus Christ, what? These are some huge nerfs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my dear lord, serrated Dirk, what have they done to you? Wow, okay. Um that's going to what this is going to do is reduce the damage in the game. This is going to reduce a lot of the early game damage uh and make the game less bursty basically. Um Let's see how it plays out. I think it's kind of a good idea. P people will definitely complain about the game being too high damage and too fast right now. Lethality 07. No. Happy about that. P people don't like when everyone's one shotting each other at, at eight minutes. Um, let's take a look. What else did they change? I don't really care to read the, the Galio stuff. Uh, I, I, I would say this patch is like an A. This is this is an this is an A by Riot.